much neural of love. Here, I'll shut this down. Oh, click off the American Rotary. This thing looks pretty darn good. Well, <clears throat> what I'm doing, I need a knob, a good sized knob with a screw thread on it. You know, I think the paste coming off this is like extremely abrasive, being aluminum. So I gotta clean that stuff off real good. <laughs> but I'm making this aluminum knob so I can retain this jeweler's lathe to this drill press table without a clamp, see? I'm afraid I'm going to knock the thing off. So I'll mount a piece of steel underneath the wood here that's got a thread. Then the hole here, I'll have that knob that'll just screw into a piece of steel and hold this all the way down. Nice safe deal. So uh, I want to talk about a little bit on safety on the tool and cutter grinder because it's kind of an important thing. <laughs> because uh, they're pretty dangerous, really. And I'll show you something I've done here. I, uh, I like using cup wheels at times by hand. And cup wheels are the most dangerous. You know, that, they're the ones, I think I've blown up three of them. And uh, <clears throat> it's the kind of deal, when these things go, they go off with a bang, and it happens that fast, and you got stuff flying, and maybe uh, half of one of these things flopping on the spindle, and it's like, uh, you can't prevent it, you can have a big red stop button, but it's all over before you can hit it, you know, <laughs> it's like, it's like table saws, the accident happened before you can hit the giant red stop stop button so it, it's just a good idea if you can and i fabricated this out of just pieces of metal i found a, a little a guard particularly for cup wheels and uh, you just want i just wanted to uh emphasize that uh cup wheels are a little bit more dangerous and uh another thing uh, I just noticed this. Uh, this is, uh, oh, these are cheap cup wheels, and these are the ones that I've blown so easily. And they're usually just really out of whack, and I don't know, this is colonial. But one of the things that happened here is the blotter fell off. And I stuck it on there, and I and uh, then I put the washer up. I go, wait a minute, the, the blotter fell off. And it's really important to have that piece of paper. Um, on both sides. So, you know, I'll, I'll just take some, uh, like, card stock down on my drafting table and, uh, you know, cut one out. Cut a few of them out and stick them here. So you want to be sure and have those blotters on there. Now, the safest type of wheel uh, for, like, grinding on the face is dish wheels here. See, these here are a lot safer than cup wheels, and you should use these when you can, okay? They're just uh, um, a lot less prone to uh, exploding. And uh, it's always good to, if you can, to stick to Norton. <laughs> I, I use other brands and stuff, but uh, the, the Nortons are, are really pretty good. Now, one of the things I'm doing, I want to point it out, people, you know, people get nitpicky about uh, uh, tool and cutter grinders. Some people do. And uh, I've seen people around here use them in multiple different ways. You just, uh, it's amazing what people do. And I think there's no right way or wrong way. I, I got people nitpicking at me and I find it quite irritating because they don't have tool and cutter grinder videos. And uh, just be aware, uh, I, I, you might irritate me enough, and I'll just plain block you. You know, this isn't, uh, this isn't the PM forum uh, where some clown controls the negative. Uh, I'm the king here, and I control things, not, not some uh, uh, creep in uh, South Carolina, that's for sure. So, 
keep that in mind, you know. And uh, you say, well, you know, you're supposed to have the flute down when you're grinding. Well, there's a lot of schools of thought on all these things. If you grind down on an edge, it's going to leave a burr. Then you have to remove that burr. How are you going to remove that burr? Are you not going to remove it? Just let it chip off? That's supposed to be bad. But if you grind into the edge, you don't leave a burr like that, see? It's not as bad. So, and things get sharper. And it's just a fact. You notice it in woodworking, you notice it in metalworking. But it doesn't matter that much. As long as you get it done to your own satisfaction. Now, one of the things about videos, I tell you, uh, looking at the statistics and stuff, people's attention spans about seven minutes. So, what do, what do I do? Make a two-hour video and have one person watching it at the end? You know, I don't, I don't know. You know, I want, I'd like to get some points across, but I don't want to uh, string things out like sparking out wheels or grinding more slowly or all this stuff. I find, you know, I, t I tell you what, I can uh, get it done. I have gotten it done and I will continue to get it done. I have no choice. I have to get it done. Mm. Oh, we got some people. What are they doing? Oh, it looks like cleaning. Oh, they might have had a flood across the street. You know, they have that... Uh, disaster crew over there. Well, anyway, on the cutter grinder, the one thing you want to do is stay out of the blast zone of the wheels. You know, and there's most of the time, unfortunately, with the cutter grinder, is you're not going to be able to have any guard whatsoever on the wheel. So, you know, you want to be aware of those kinds of things. But, uh, this machine is just very important to the way I work and uh, the way um, other, other people worked uh, some time ago. It was just a little different deal than it is now. And uh, with me, you get a glimpse of uh, a period of time that's uh, gone, you know. And uh, I can still use these skills for uh, repairing stuff, for my own entertainment, building models, all kinds of stuff. I could just make just about anything. I don't have to be real efficient. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I can have more of a good time. And that's kind of back on to this. So how are we doing on time? So you know, I got a few minutes. Now, I was going to have a more normal little home shop here. I was going to get um, a bridge port type machine, you know, the heavier, the heavier ones, uh, but with the regular head, the bridge port uh, series two special or equivalent, you know, again or something, you know, something in good shape. And a famous Morisiki lathe or a Japanese lathe of that type or the watch on uh, web. Uh, Variety of the uh, Morisiki is a very easy machine to uh, to use, and then then what happened is I saw that this milling machine rusting uh, over there at Walker's out by the highway, and then I got that, then I got that drill press, and then I got this old axleson to match it. You know, realizing that I'm old and I don't have to be super productive and have real efficient equipment. But in the uh, long run, I can do a whole lot more things with this uh, less expensive older equipment than I could with the uh, newer Bridgeport uh, Series 2 Special and the more Secret Lake. More bang for the buck, that's for sure. And that's one of the things that, I, that I'm uh, keenly aware of is uh, saving money. And I really think that uh, reliance on inserts is uh, maybe not a real good thing. You should be able to make your own tools on the fly. You can buy carbide uh, blanks on eBay and other sources and grind your own tools. If, if you want to, you don't have to have a tool and cutter grinder. You know, I certainly uh, 
made my own boring bars and stuff. Uh, you, they could be rather crude, but functional. <laughs> That's kind of how that works. But I guess it just depends on the way you work, too, you know. Like, uh, over here, where is that? Like, uh, I'll, I'll uh, use these inserts here to rough something out. But when it comes to finishing, when it comes to getting close to the finish, I always go to razor sharp uh, brazed carbide. This one's a... Uh, I was using this on some, on some of that cast iron that worked real well, ACT, but I usually use Micro 100. And the thing about Micro 100 carbide is uh, it, it, it's really tough and it tends not to break off at slow speeds like these old machines run. Well, okay, I will uh, be back pretty quick here and uh, just keep in mind the safety with the with the uh, cutter grinders. I got a lot going, and I'll be back. <laughs>